Hello everyone. Today, we are covering the 5 best camping coffee pot on the market, which are the best for you considering some unavoidable factors that you might miss out without watching this video. Here, we are going to give you an impartial review to find the best from a plenty of irrelevant products. For more information and updated pricing of the products mentioned in the video make sure to check the links in the description below. So, let's get started. Number 1. Our best pick for the money is Farberware Stainless Steel Yosemite Coffee Percolator. If you're looking for a percolator-style coffee maker to brew your coffee on your next camping trip, this stainless steel model from Farberware is durable, easy to use, and brews a delicious cup of joe. Available in both 8 and 12 cup sizes, the percolator basket has a built-in filter, so you don't need to worry about fussing with one-time use filters. At an affordable price, this is a long-lasting, stylish coffee pot that you will be excited to bring on all of your camping adventures. The comfortable handle makes it safe to touch and easy to maneuver, especially if you're brewing over an open fire. The stainless steel material makes it easy to clean and you can even toss the item in the dishwasher when you're back home from your camping trip. While there are electric percolator options available, this manual version is still user-friendly and can brew coffee quickly. Number 2. Our second best pick is Grosch Milano Stovetop Espresso Maker. A mocha pot is an apparatus that passes boiling water pressurized by steam through ground coffee for a strong, tasty brew. Available in 3, 6, and 9 cup options, this mocha pot gives you the flexibility to brew a strong espresso or a classic coffee. The heat-resistant handles and knobs make the pot safe and easy to maneuver around the fire, and when you're done using it, all the separate parts disassemble quickly. A silicone seal is around the filter in order to prevent leaks while maintaining steady pressure in the boiler. This seal should be replaced every 3-6 to six months. If you don't prefer a strong brew, this is probably not your best option as the results here are a strong espresso blend. Does not brew coffee, only espresso. Seal needs to be replaced every couple months. Number 3. Our third best pick is Coletti Bozeman Percolator Coffee Pot. If you're heading into the great outdoors with a large group of Java lovers, you'll definitely want a coffee pot that can keep up with the morning routine. This pot is available in 9, 12, and 14 cups, so you can decide which amount of coffee is right for you and your group. The sleek wood handle not only provides a chic look but stays cool to the touch. The heat-tempered glass top on the lid also makes for safe, easy handling. Though the pot does not require filters, it does come with filters that you can use if your coffee is ground up extremely finely. And while this pot is on the more expensive side, it can brew a ton of coffee at once so we think that the extra money is definitely worth it for your big group. Number 4. Our fourth best pick is Primula Brew Buddy Portable Pour Over. If you're in the market for a streamlined, portable pour over, we love this compact, budget-friendly option. The reusable, extra-fine, mesh sieve is extremely proficient in ensuring that no loose coffee grounds make it into your cup of java. You'll need a mug or cup to set the apparatus over, which is the vessel that you will enjoy your brew out of. No need for paper filters, K-cups, or any electric source, this simple pour-over will have you sipping on coffee by the campfire in no time, we're talking as quickly as 30 seconds. Our lab testers liked how easy this was to set up, its portability, and its ease of cleaning. The one caveat was the final cup of coffee wasn't as strong as the testers would have liked. We recommend trying out the filter a few times at home to get over the learning curve. Since this is a pour-over, a kettle or spouted pot is ideal to pour your hot water out of and over the sieve. As you use the filter, you will adjust to the strength of the brew, but for the most part, the slower the pour, the darker the coffee, and the quicker the pour, the lighter the coffee. Number 5. Our fifth best pick is Wakako Nanopresso. When we think of espresso makers, we usually picture steaming, countersized beasts coated in stainless steel. The Wakako Nanopresso turns that image on its head. The item is sleek, durable, and can fit squarely in the palm of your hand, all of which makes it an excellent travel companion or camping buddy. At just 0.7 pounds, which, for context, is lighter than a can of soda, it is hardly noticeable in a bag or backpack. The Nanopresso is also wonderfully compact, measuring 6.14 into 2.8 into 2.44 inches, which, again, makes it easy to transport. Once your water is boiled, it takes less than a minute to manually pump a 2.7-ounce espresso shot with the device. 
Cleanup is quick and easy too because all you have to do is rinse off any stray coffee grounds from the Nanopresso's individual pieces, then dry and reassemble. There are a couple of downsides, however, that our product tests are found. While the Nanopresso is capable of brewing a tasty espresso shot, which you can combine with hot water for an Americano, the taste can be inconsistent if your coffee grounds are too fine or too coarse. It certainly takes some trial and error to find the right brew for you. Water can also get trapped inside the device's main chamber, which makes the pump more difficult to press. What we don't like. Small serving size. Water can get stuck inside the main chamber. Inconsistent taste depending on grind size. So, grab yours while you can. Make sure to check the links in the description below. That's all for this review. Feel free to share your feedback. Like, comment and share our video. Do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more videos like this in future. Thanks for watching.